going to show you the steps on creating and uh, grading a journal entry from an instructor as well as completing it and seeing the comments of an instructor from the student perspective. So I'm in an encore for the third edition. I'm going to go into chapter one and you will see one of the activities under the reading, which is where it is found in the ebook, are the journal entries. So uh, this is me, Julie, as an instructor. I have actually gone into the date manager view and I have set some due dates here so that when you see it on here, you can see that there's some due dates that are displaying. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to a new screen. And you can see that this is Marcus Hansen, who is the student. So you can see that on his screen, what is due. So I'm going to go ahead and click into the journal entry as the student so that I can complete it. So when I click on that, it actually brings me right to the page in the ebook where I have the journal entry. So I'm going to go ahead and click this down arrow which loads the assignment and I'm going to go ahead and click the start assignment now. And this gives me the, the um, assignment just as it's written in the textbook. Blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 down over here and this gives them the opportunity to um, write in whatever it is that they're going to write and I guess for this journal entry it looks like there are a couple of places for them to enter in their text. So here it's just asking me as the student to compare and contrast a couple of uh, things that are different about my high school education versus what I'm experiencing now. So I'm just going to do something about teaching methods are different. They do more online homework and there is a lot more homework now in college. Okay, something like that. Okay, so I'm writing my journal entry as a student. And now it's asking me to pick a good major for me. What I need to find out is the pay scale of being in college. Something like that. Okay, so I have entered my journal entries for this and I'm going to go ahead and submit it for grading. Okay, it gives me the option to either continue the assignment or submit it for grading. I'll go ahead and submit it for grading. And you can see the message now is that I actually have zero because it hasn't been graded. And I know that because it says it's not been graded, even though my entries are saved right here. Okay, so that's all there is to it from the student side. And then I'm going to switch back to the instructor side to see how things look. Okay, so here I am back as the instructor, and there's a couple different ways that I can do this. Um, I can either go to the learning path here, or I can go to the progress app, which is located on the app doc right over here. Okay, and you can see on this screen that um, someone has submitted their grade. Also, the same thing will hold true here under chapter one. If you look at the activities, you will see that someone, I only have one student in this class, and of that one student, that student submitted uh, their, their uh, journal entry. So it doesn't matter if you click, uh, if you click it from the learning path, so you could click it here. You could also, from the date manager view, click it here. Um, you could also click from the uh, progress app, as I was mentioning before, which is right here, and they will all take you to the same place so that you can grade that student's entry. I have gone ahead and clicked it right from the learning path right here so that I can get in and it actually just loads the progress app and it will bring up that student's entry. Okay, so it's brought up the progress app and here's my student and it takes me right into that journal entry that the student entered and I just click on the grade the activity and it will take me into Marcus's submission. And once that opens up, I can just click on the journal entry itself. And it brings up the journal entry. I scroll down over here, and there is Marcus's work right there. Okay, and there is his other thing. And from here, I can go ahead and score his attempt, and I can also add a comment and say, Thanks, Marcus. Great entry. Hope you find what you are looking for. You will be a great student. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to let the student see the comments and I'll click OK. 
right over here in the score area, I'm going to go ahead and it's two points possible, so I'll go ahead and give that student a two, save my changes, and I am done as the instructor in grading the journal entry. If I had another student to grade, I could certainly use the pull down over here and move on to the next student. I could also email Marcus right from this page, but I'll go ahead and just close out and I'll move back over to the student view so I can see my instructor comments. Okay, now I'm back here as my student, Marcus Hansen, and I'm going to see that my journal entry has been graded by coming over to the progress app over here. And once that loads, you can see that I got 100% on my first journal entry, so I can click into that journal entry. And I can view, see I got two out of two, yay. And I'm gonna view this, and when I get to the journal entry, then you'll be able to see that here are the comments that my instructor made right here and you can see that I got a two out of a two. So hopefully that helps you see where you make your comments, where your students see your comments, where you do the grading and so on and so forth. And if you have any questions, then we'll be around to answer them. Okay, 